Well, welcome RC Gym on the flight field. I did some awesome dives yesterday with this setup. I didn't have as much confidence with the setup as I'd like to have. The signal bar generally makes me nervous because it goes like two bars and then red way too soon. But the bitrate is normally the indicator to show you if the transmission is okay. The last thing you want to have is something making you nervous. I think the main, main culprit for bad performance is this uh, kind of temporary setup I have here. But if you dive down, you have bad antenna reception because the battery is in the way and also force. I will fly it like it is and record the SRT file and uh, exam examine the log. So this is the baseline flight with 25 milliwatts with my dual shields being vertical, one top, one bottom mount. And also the air unit antennas are placed badly behind the battery. As you see, this gives me quite low megabit settings here. Around 10 megabit is where you should be noticed. Um, below 5 megabit, it's really, really going to break up soon. Okay, after some taping and improvising around, that's what I came up with. I was quite sure that I wouldn't come up with an elegant solution, but it's a quick solution. But I have one one problem. Uh, initially I thought I could use those PDP antennas. But you see they have a straight connector, not an angled. And the space here on this thing doesn't permit the usage of a straight connector. You need an angled. Let's just see if this increases my video range. Or my stability of video signal. Second flight, still 25 milliwatts. Still the same antennas on the goggles but better antenna placement on the copter. And I see immediately better megabit settings. And if we compare them side by side, you see it on the videos above and also in the diagram on the left side, this big, big abyss here. <laughs> is all the way down to 5 megabits, whereas on the second flight it didn't went that far down. Okay, just watched Andy RC's video, it will be linked of course. Apparently the bottom two antennas should be patches and the top antennas should be omnis. That's what I'm trying next. Apparently those bottom antennas are the um, receiving antennas, they only receive. Okay, so after testing which felt better. I now tried to confirm it with measurements. The SRT file from the first flight from my old configuration, which was dual shield from ORT on the sideways, so on top and bottom of one side, and Omnis on the other side. I switched to the Menes and VAS patch antenna on the bottom, like you see here. Um, I switched to these patches on the bottom and SPVs on the top, how Andy recommended it. And now my curves look way better. So on the beginning here, this is the worst case behind a lot of trees near to the ground. Then over the field, where I only have a few spikes. If we go back to the old configuration, this is also the worst case here. If you take a look at it goes down further, below, almost to 5 Mbit. And you get a lot of down spikes or, or breakups in the bitrate here at this. While after the worst part here it stays relatively high. Have lots, lots of spaces where it's at 25 Mbit, which is what I want. So now with this setup which will be my standard setup from now. For the top antennas, I bought them in RPSMA. That's what the connector should be to directly fit there. On the bottom, I have to use an RPSMA to SMA adapter, which is not perfect, but yeah, it, let me, it lets me use my, my existing antenna. Okay, so just to conclude this, I've been test flying this setup, this patch there, worked quite well and I was able to go quite far out with confidence. That's what I was aiming for.
now I look into the distance here and see the wall of my desire. Uh, if the wind is not too strong, we will go there in the afternoon. Which we did and which will make for a very cool third dive video. Hope you enjoy it. I will for sure enjoy cutting it, which I will do next. Until that, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, leave me comments. Um, what kind of antenna orientation, antenna experience do you have with DJI FPV if you have? Until this, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now. Please subscribe and also use the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos.